94%. That's how many employees say that they would stay at a company longer if invested in their learning and development. This shows just how important engaging training is in today's workplace. If your training and onboarding materials feel outdated, it's time for an overhaul. By adding interactive learning to your training content, you can boost employee engagement, improve retention, and create a more effective learning experience. I'm Yvonne from VizMe, and in this video, I'm going to show you real life examples from companies who found success with interactive learning, and then I'll show you exactly how you can get started for yourself. And if you want more tips on designing for your businesses, please hit the subscribe or like button. It helps us reach more people just like you. Otherwise, let's get into it. Here are the three components of interactive learning. To make training effective, your content should include these three key components. Engagement, encourage employees to think critically and take action. Interaction, get employees involved with the content so they stay engaged. And then there's feedback, provide insights on what employees are learning and areas that they can improve. Now, let's see a couple examples in practice. Start off, we have VizMe. We use interactive learning ourselves. Our presentation skills certification course includes a mix of different interactive formats, keeping learners engaged with videos, quizzes, and checkpoints while they develop their skills. There's also Radisson Hotel Group. So Radisson Hotel Group created interactive videos to train their hotel staff on various skills, such as the right action to take when it, they notice it's a guest's birthday. They use branching scenarios where they could choose a response, see how it plays out, and then receive immediate feedback on whether it was the best thing to do or not. You want to make training interactive without being distracting. The key to effective interactive training is balanced. Here are some ways to incorporate interactivity without overwhelming learners. Add a hovering arrow next to a pop-up with additional insights. Use animated characters to emphasize key facts. Incorporate animated charts and data widgets to highlight important statistics. Use videos as transitions to keep people engaged. And quizzes and assessments to checkpoint their retention. And then finally, interactive brainstorming, using digital whiteboards to encourage teamwork and problem solving. Now, interactive content isn't just for onboarding audiences that are brand new to your business. You should be using it to activate existing people in your bubble. For example, compliance training, leadership and management development, technical skill training, business continuity planning, succession planning, and ongoing professional development. Here are more ways to incorporate interactivity into training and development. I know I'd mentioned a few types of learning methods that you can create, but I also wanna to touch on a few more examples before I give you a full tutorial to get started yourself. So quick question, have you thought about adding interactive graphics? These make complex information easier to understand and are particularly useful for visual learners. And then what about dialogue simulations? Perfect for sales reps and customer service teams to practice real world communication scenarios. And have you added micro learning courses? These can deliver content in small digestible chunks for more effective learning. These are all easy benchmarks you can reach with minimal learning curve. But the biggest challenge, picking a content authoring tool. One of the biggest challenges that companies face when introducing interactive training is finding the right content authoring tool. Some tools are great for specific tasks, but you often need multiple platforms to get everything done. This can make the process kind of complicated and a little spread thin. With VizMe, you can get everything done all in one place. You can design interactive training content, export it as SCORM or X API formats for your LMS, and create a seamless learning experience, all without needing an extensive design background. Now I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how you can start making interactive documents using VizMe. Step one, sign up or log in. Go to VizMe's website and sign up for a free account or log into your existing account. Step two, you're gonna choose a template or you can start from scratch if you like. Once you're logged in, click on create new project and select documents or presentations depending on what you need. You'll be able to browse through thousands of professionally designed templates if you wanna go that route. Or you can add your website URL and upload your branding like colors and fonts to the brand wizard and it will automatically recommend templates based on your branding. It's honestly pretty, pretty easy. Step three, you're gonna be adding interactive elements. To make your document interactive, use the following tools like buttons and hyperlinks. This means adding clickable buttons that navigate to different sections. You're gonna to wanna to include tool tips or additional information that appears when users hover over any specific elements. Then you have embedded media. So you can insert videos, audio clips, and GIFs to enhance engagement. Then you also have quizzes and forms. So you can add interactive forms, quizzes, or polls for user participation. That, that is probably one of the top ones. 
Now for step four, you're going to want to customize your content. You're going to want to use the drag and drop editor to modify things like your format, clickable hotspots or embedded videos on the editor timeline. You can also incorporate animations, which bring elements to life. Then you can use data visualization. So you can use charts and graphs to present key insights readably. Of course, you have your icons and illustrations, which will enhance readability and aesthetics with built in design assets. Now for step five, you're going to be exporting and sharing your content. Once your document is ready, you can start by publishing it online. So that means getting a link and publishing it with online access. Now, if you want to download your content, you can export it as a PDF, HTML5, or SCORM and XAPI file types for LMS compatibility. You can also embed it by adding your document directly to websites or training portals. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you can also pre-record narration so that viewers can watch or listen asynchronously. It's pretty cool if I do say so myself. And then voila, now your brand's content is ready to be seen worldwide. When you have your content completed, you're going to want to measure success. Creating interactive content is just the beginning. You need to measure the success using analytics. Within the VisMe dashboard, you can track important insights such as how often the content gets viewed or how learners interact with your materials. You can also track which sections get the most engagement. And if you want to collect feedback through user testing polls and surveys to refine your training over time, you can. This integrated analytics feature allows you to monitor engagement, collect emails for follow-ups, and analyze data to improve your learning strategies. Ready to transform your training? If you're looking to make your employee training more engaging and effective, interactive learning is the way to go, and VisMe makes it easier than ever. Sign up today and start creating interactive content that promotes learning, growth, and retention. I'm Yvonne from VisMe, and if you want more advice to help you design better for your business, check out these videos and let us know what you want to see next. See ya.